Well, we've been hearing a lot about this story, a harsh reality for the parents involved in the Colorado Balloon Boy saga. Authorities said today it was all a hoax from start to finish. They're considering criminal charges, and that could mean years in prison. The Balloon Boy drama that played out on national TV last week was all a bizarre hoax, according to authorities. It was a publicity stunt done with the hopes of... Uh, marketing themselves. Investigators re-interviewed the Heaney family Saturday and combed through their Colorado home looking through computers and emails. Two, one. They now believe Richard and Mayumi Heaney had been plotting the stunt for weeks to get their own reality TV show deal and instructed their three children to lie to the media and to police. We have since learned, as many of you have, that these people are actors. So needless to say, they put on a very good show for us and we bought it. Investigators plan to file felony charges, including conspiracy and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. The flyaway balloon sparked a heated high-altitude search and worldwide concern when the Heenies reported their six-year-old son, Falcon, had crawled inside just before it floated away. He was found hours later at home, supposedly hiding in a cardboard box in the attic. But speculation the incident may have been faked began almost immediately when Falcon made this comment on CNN. We did this for the show. His dad tried to explain away the comment and denied it was a setup. Absolutely no hoax. When approached by reporters Sunday, Richard Heaney teared up and said the ongoing saga has become so convoluted. His children are not likely to be charged because they're too young, but Child Protective Services are now involved. Now, the most serious charges carry a prison term of two to six years and big fines with it as well. Authorities may also seek some restitution here, only if the family has been paid any money over the incident. Documents show there may have been some financial agreement with at least one media outlet.